Happy Eternal Tuesday! The holidays are right around the corner, and that means an increase in spending, buying gifts, cards, gift wrap supplies, and much more. Although Clinton Savings Bank is not a financial advisor, we want to share with you some tips that may help you spread your money a little bit further during the holidays. Let's get into it! There are a few things to keep in mind during the holiday season. Be realistic, evaluate individual expenses, adjust expectations, and create your list, but check it twice. Be realistic. This means staying within your means and setting a realistic but firm budget. Most people spend roughly $1,000 during the holidays, according to the National Retail Federation. This includes both gifts as well as non-gift purchases, such as family photos and holiday outfits or parties. Start by looking at the amount you spent in previous years during the holidays. Consider the impact that spending had on your budget. When you begin to create your holiday gift list, look at each individual expense. Think about gifts for immediate and extended family, gifts for friends and coworkers, food and party supplies, gift cards, travel expenses such as gas, flights, and hotels, holiday cards, postage and shipping costs, gift wrap supplies, and decorations. Add up what you plan to spend and determine whether or not that spending fits inside your budget. Adjust expectations. Try and stay within your means. Choose a budget that works best for you, and then if you need to get creative, find other personal ways to celebrate to cut your costs. Think about gifts of time and services instead of physical gifts or gift cards. Spending money on someone in the past does not mean you have to spend a similar amount this year. Make a list and check it twice. Getting organized and creating a list of your gift giving before you start buying can help you take advantage of holiday sales and price drops. Keep track of your list and spending. Don't stray from your list. Set aside dedicated shopping days at brick and mortar stores instead of small shopping trips. This will help curb impulse buys. Once you've finished your holiday shopping and marked off all items, stop looking at flyers, email promotions, deal websites, and in-store signs. This way, you won't be tempted to buy even more. The holidays can be stressful and put a strain on your finances, but I hope you found this information to be useful and help you out this holiday season. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week to go over some more holiday shopping tips.